The Chicago Auto Show is rolling back into town. And I'd like to get a behind the scenes, first hand look at everything that goes into turning McCormick Place into the auto show that we all know and love. And it is no small feat. It takes an entire army of skilled laborers, from carpenters, welders, electricians. And I actually had a couple of them take me around the floor and show me what needs to get clicked into gear to get this show on the road. This is my 20th auto show, but I have 30 years in Local 134. John Keener is with the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 134. First several days, we had between 100 and 150 electricians here doing all the overhead work that you see. His teams are responsible for making sure the auto show is lit, and lit well. We have a time frame we have to meet to get that work complete so that way the boots underneath can start building. We started on Sunday. Um, just for that, we have enough power to light up this booth that would run 40 homes in the Chicagoland area. About 48 hours round the clock to get this done. 400 motors, 4,000 foot of truss, probably 500 light fixtures in here to light up all these cars. And that's just the lights. That just a few days ago, this floor was bare. There were some things hanging from the, from the rafters, but it was a bare floor. Dave Sloan has been the general manager of the Chicago Auto Show for over a decade. And he says hosting a convention at McCormick Place is a show run by trade experts. Our convention labor is top notch and they can get a show like this in in just seven days. All the different trades come, will come together to work on this show and they are a professional workforce. This is their full time job. And so Chicago convention labor is widely known as some of the best convention labor in all of the country. One of the more popular creations are the indoor test driving tracks. People line up and they run back to get first in line for the Jeep, the Jeep ride. They absolutely love it. It's kind of a tradition. Even though this show is smaller than once in the past, they're still working with about 670,000 square feet of floor space. And this year, they're dedicating a lot more room to test driving. There'll be one, two, three, four tracks before they even get back there and another one on the other side. We have more indoor test tracks than we've ever had before, six of them. There, this is gonna be a big Bronco Hill right here. There's gonna be an electric vehicle track right next to it. The new electric vehicles are another major attraction coming to the show, and many of the models haven't even hit the market yet. But there's a lot of vehicles that haven't been seen before that have just been introduced. A majority of the people who are considering an electric vehicle in their next purchase have never experienced one. So having two EV tracks on the show floor is really going to help those people along. So when you think about our summer show that we did, 40% of the people who came to the show took a test drive or a ride in a vehicle. And that's huge for these companies. It means so much more when you can get somebody in the car moving. So uh, that's kind of where shows are going right now. You can come see the finished show for yourself. It's running from February 12th to 21st at McCormick Place. And you can buy tickets at ChicagoAutoShow.com. I'm Jamaica Ponder, CBS News, Chicago.